Merhaba fil program Maltese Down Under. Jena Marlin Shikluna insellmi lkom. Unu ringrazzjakom li etterġaw tinaqdu ma'na għalġi moħra għal dal program bi produzzjoni kolla kemi mil-belt ta' Melbourne. Fil program tal-lum sir nilta'aw mal konsul ġenerali għal Malta fil Victoria ma grup ta' muzicisti Zaza u ma' kor multikulturali. Law l-intervista ta'na l-lum sir tlaqana mal konsul ġenerali għal Malta fil Victoria Joanna Pizani li bdid din il-kariga fti tal-ġimaħt ilu. Din zgur li miħiex kariga ġdida l Joanna Pizani billi xislin ilu ja kienet il-konsul ġenerali għal Malta fi New South Wales. I was first consul general in New South Wales between 2003 and 2008. Now that I am in Melbourne, the role is the same. It's to give service to the Maltese community with regards to passports, citizenships, powers of attorney, pensions, and whatever, you know, any problem that they might encounter where the consulate may be in a position to assist with. Well, you mentioned a consulate and there's a number of staff working here. And obviously, I would think you would tell anyone who needs a passport or to, or to start the process for a passport is to make an appointment with the consulate because there is a process. Definitely. No, definitely have to, you have to make an appointment also because you can come where there's too many people and we will, you know, you have to wait a long time. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you make an appointment. When we, you call for an appointment, you, we will ask you a, a, a series of questions so that we can um, identify because uh, every case has, be, has to be considered on its own merits and depending when the person was born or whether they were, they were born in here or where the parents were born in, in Malta it all makes a difference so so it's important that you give as much information as possible if a person if a person is born in Australia and the father was born in Malta and the grandfather too automatically that person is Maltese okay. and they, they uh, can apply for a passport but obviously first they have to, to uh, register the birth. One can go through the, the mother as well, as long as um, the, the person concerned was born after 1st August 1989. Okay, so uh, there is a difference. There is, there is a difference. That is why I say that every application has to be considered on its own merits. If the person was, was born before 89, then um, you have to apply for citizenship first. Again, the process of citizenship is, is rather long. It can take two to three years. Wow. Yes, yeah. there is, I mean, you have to consider that applications uh, come from all over the world mm -hmm. in, in Malta. So, so, and the process is long. There is a lot of, a, a lot of documents that have to be processed and assessed, etc. So, so uh, yeah, it does, it does take a long time. What about the process for a passport, for a new passport? If you already have a passport and you want to renew it, the, the process will take four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, if you need to register the birth or in the case of a person, who, uh, of, a, of a female who got married and changed her surname, she needs to register the marriage first. So in that case, the process can take between 16 and 18 weeks. So Now, what's the benefit for um, Australians of Maltese descent to have dual citizenship? Well, it is always, uh, first of all, you don't lose your heritage. Um, it is important actually that every generation applies for for citizenship because if one generation one generation um, omits to apply for citizenship it, it will block it for all future generations mm -hmm. now obviously when you're traveling when you're traveling in Europe you won't need visas with the Maltese passports and if you go to Malta you can stay as long as you like whereas with an Australian passport you can only stay up to 90 days okay. without a visa so you know, it makes life a little easier. It does not, <laughs> definitely. But does it make it complicated when, how do you use both passports, exiting Australia, yeah, entering yes. Malta and then vice versa? Yes, you, you exit you exit Australia with the Australian passport okay, yeah. and you enter and exit Malta with the Maltese the passport. Maltese. Okay. okay. So obviously when you come back to Australia, use the Australian again. So now you have to Malta. Consul General in Malta, in Victoria, you have to talk about Malta. Let's experience 
l-esperjenza tijek, ġowena, zmin li għamilta 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 fin New South Wales, ti kenet l-ewel esperjenza tijek ma' l-komunita ma' l-tija fl-Australia. Ekko, li zjiet li għotni ja kem għala għolja ilom ħaf maġġoranza ilom l-Australia għara l-Gwerra. U ma' għadom isom, tanti għossu għam parti min Malta għwek għandu jikun, li kwazi, they are more staunch, izjiet jiċelebra għaf farijiet l-festi għwek, izjiet patriotti. Izjiet patriotti, u izjiet ku. U izjiet għak kaniti. Għax, ma taħtkun ma għad, isek taħodun for granted, Church of Fair, taħtkun il-bot min pajizek, ovvjament, u ma' farijiet li timmissja. Għara li wasalt Malta, għara għam s-nin Sydney, l-għal kont deputy ta' chief of protocol fil-ministeru, umbat, umbat, eventualment, għara għam s-min kont acting, director, umbat, għam s-nin għara, ġoħe s-sentej għonof s-għara kont direttur ta' l-protokol. U xo fissir? Daka nuħuk s-sib kont kint protokol and consular services, ġifiri Fejtlu Consular Services, għat istatejt da kollu għonka jek maltin għedin barra, ximkien jen għalalon problema, lo fitxu tija jekin jikomunikaw. Fejtħu l-protokoll għandek, għandek state visits, kem incoming u kem outgoing, jikollu għvisti uffiċjali, mux neċessarja mental head of state, imma għonka jisaj kum prim ministri, foreign ministers, uffiċjali li jġu Malta, għala da kontin kun lajzin ma' l-offiċu tal-priministru biex nikordin għal vista u t-prepara da kollu li jemzon għal vista partikolari. Personalita jew vista li t-bqaf moħħok li pħazbeċi spikkat? Bla dubju il-vista tal-papa. Kinġi papa Benedittu da kina t-xissena għara għasalt Malta fil-fat. Parti għami luwa l-papa. Pasi n-għusak mu jizjetu għali minek. Ma għamka metat inta għami għu għal-kem ħafna kienu jajdu l-mandux l-istess karizma ta' Papa Gjwanni Pawlottini pero metat inta għamio personali jħat kompletament differenti għandu għandu għat ċertu t-jubija għekut and jek you are in all għafpeċi metat konfil presenza t-jaw kontu koll għabel ma ġejta għunek kontu koll iċarġi da fair l-Irlanda għadak għara l-protokoll l-aħar sente għabel ma ġejta għu fil-fat Konta puntata xarġe da fer ġo l-ambaxxa ta' tana f-Dublin. U xkien il-wall tijek? Xarġe da fer għa metam fl-assenza ta' l-ambaxxa tur. L-ambaxxa tur għal-Irlanda kien residenti ġo l-Ingerterra. Allura, jina kont il-persuna xarġe, il-charge, li la ta' rappresenta l-ambaxxa tur ġo l-Irlanda. L-Irlanda kollu li kunem zon li jisif ambaxxa ta' konna minna. Issa l-Irlanda memxi popolazzjoni kbira ta' Malti? Malti le, mux da' sek, forsi jem 3 metruħ. Il-maġoranza ma' sparpaljati ma' l-Irlanda kolla. Piuttost, maġoranza da' ħomu ma' jow iz-żowġu Irlandizi. Un bad bħu jie xu jem jow, morri studijaw. Un bad jow ġobom l-Irlanda u jibqo jem. Ġowena, kif etħares lejn din il-kariga ġdida għunek bħalla konsul ġenerali għal Malta fil-Victoria u il-rapport bilaterali bejn Malta u l-Australia? Well, dhe jem kerna rapport tajjeb ma' l-Australiani u nispera mundiċ dubju li t-kompli l-relazzjonijiet ma' l-Australia. Kem għanna għafna għafertin komuni, kem il-Commonwealth, il-Diaspora Maltija li għaw għafna Maltin li għatu il-kontribut taħħom u f-kwalun kwa għasam. Għamma ndiċ dubju li il-relationship bej zowċ bajizi. Kina t-tajba għadda t-tajba u t-tip għam xor.